Hola Flor, ¿qué tal? Hola, buenas noches Vilma. Buenas noches. Ahorita les estoy escribiendo a estos chicos, pero ya sabían que ahora teníamos clases. Ah, oh, ok, sí, me parece raro que no se haya conectado ninguno. Sí, ahorita les estoy escribiendo. Vaya, ¿sabes? Bueno. Uh -huh. Gracias por estar pendiente. Uh -huh. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. You're muted. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, any questions so far? Do you have you finished all the the lessons, the pending lessons? Um, I think I am in the middle term. In the middle term? What do you mean? In the middle of the lesson four, right? You should have finished already the uh, lesson or section three. Uh, yes, the, the section three, I have finished. It's, it's done, okay. It's, uh, yes. All right, nice. And um, any questions so far? Remember guys, the issue with my camera, it's it still persists. So I'm sorry about that inconvenience. I hope that this coming Monday, I have my computer fixed. All right. So welcome and thank you guys for being connecting. I understand that we normally don't have classes on Fridays, but you already knew that we had classes, right? So today we will continue as a regular class. If you want, we can solve any doubts. We can answer any other questions that you may have. I don't know if you have any question. Welcome, Lisette. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Claudia is working. And Lorena, what happened to your camera? You said you bought a new camera, right? Yeah, but it is still is not working, OK? It's not working yet. Still not yes. working. Yeah. Uh, and don't I, you have and, gar and the guarantee? I, I don't know because uh, I think it is the it is my computer. No, it is not the camera because um, I, I it is it has the same problem that the last camera, the previous camera. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, I hope that we can uh, fix this inconvenience because in my case I still have the same. At least I just get frozen, but it doesn't see it, it doesn't seem or it doesn't appear the the way that it used to appear, where we actually uh had like oh it started again. 
like a green green screen and and i had the the rest of you appearing in my screen anyways i will try to uh be in turn it on and turn it off the camera so you don't get bored all right yeah, because I understand that when we don't see a person in the screen, we always feel like kind of bored, all right? Hello, Kevin. Ah, it started again. Sorry, guys. <laughs> On Monday, I hope I'm crossing my fingers to have this uh, solved. Okay, uh, questions, guys? No questions? We have we have a lot of time and I see that we have a few attendants at this time. And I would like you um I would like to help you a little bit with the pronunciation that I normally see the um, mispronunciation, especially with the regular verbs. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And in that case, when we were reading yesterday, I saw that you were saying, uh, for example, um, what was what was those? Oh, we were actually answering the the session number four point. Oh no, let me see four point five. If I'm not mistaken, we were doing the knowledge check. Okay, let me just share the screen. Let me share it right now. Okay, we were doing the, I'm sorry, this is the one. Uh, we were doing the, the past participle of the verb and we were talking about passive voice. Remember guys, I'm going to ask you, when can we use the passive or why do we use passive guys? Do you remember what I said yesterday? No, yeah. when, do, when do, we don't know the, the person, we don't, we, uh, we're not interested in who made the action. Exactly, we are, we're not emphasizing who made the action, we are just emphasizing the, the result, right, the, on the action. Excellent. So that is why we normally use the passive voice. How can we form passive voice? Do you remember? Ah, Ronald is there already. Hello, Ronald. Welcome. Welcome. I forgot because I don't work today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's your day off. Well, but thank you very much for being on time, guys. I was like uh, connected at around eight and I started like waiting for you and I started like mm, wondering, hey, did they remember that we had classes today? And yes, actually you remember, all right? That, that is great. Um, okay, just a moment. I'm just sending a message to a student. Please keep trying, don't worry, okay? We wait for you. I know it's very windy right now, and that is why probably the connection is very unstable. But if you have any issue, I will connect my, my internet. Right now, I have very good connection. It's not my internet. And look, normally I connect this to the computer, but I, I still have a very good very good internet at this time. So what I wanted to mention is the following, okay? Before we continue, because we need to answer those questions and I hope that you did it already. We are just going, uh, we're just going to, to confirm the answers. In this case, let me, let me check something. Um, I'm going to turn off the camera, guys. Believe me that this is very stressing, uh, very stressful for us. So I'm sorry about it. I'm going to stop sharing because I'm going to copy some verbs where I uh, 
which I want you to practice pronunciation, okay? And I'm going to ask, okay? Uh, Ronald, I, I know that Ronald, it's, uh, it's, it's a very, very advanced, and I would like to know the rule, if you know the rules for the ED endings. Yes? I, I remember, but not too much. I remember, okay. uh, I mean, it's like when I see the word, I know the sound, but not for all of them, just the common ones. All for right. example, wanted, I know that it's wanted, not squanted or wanted. Okay, but, uh, yeah. It depends on how it ends, depends I remember. On. Yes, I, got the, I learned the rule, but I forgot because when you get to speak, it's like you just do it automatically. Okay. But whenever I got the I doubt, I just look it up. Exactly. We just basically looked in the internet about the pronunciation. I understand that. Okay. So uh, let me just open this. I'm going to open this image. Mm. Let me check the regular verbs. I need a few regular verbs. This is a good one. Open image. I will edit, I will explain to you this time because I don't want you to continue saying I watch it, I watched it, or something like that. Okay. So let me just okay, here we are. I don't want to use the, I don't want to open the, the, the website since uh, sometimes when I'm trying to upload the video, it says that because of the copyrights, the video cannot be, uh, cannot be uploaded. So I'm going to just, uh, copy something really quick and I will tell you the explanation of this. Okay, now there you go. I'm gonna share again. Here. Uh, here it is. I'm sorry, I didn't want to have I this remember open. I was what I, what I was told that it depends of the vibration of your throat, uh -huh. something like that. That is correct, all right? That is correct. It depends on the pronunciation and the vibration of your, of, of and the vibration they have, okay? In this case, we have, for example, some letters. Let me see if I can text, I can write something here. Okay. So, for example, guys, the ED endings are pronounced the, in different ways. Okay. The first rule that I want you to take notes and remember, please, uh, it's when you have to pronounce an extra syllable. Okay. The extra syllable is pronounced. Who is Susan? Oh, Susan, it's been a long time. I haven't seen you. Okay. Uh, how are you? Where, where have you been? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, teacher, but uh, I just wanted to let you know that I have been very sick and that's why I was oh. missing the classes, but here I am now. Hey, excellent. It's very nice to see you. And I'm so sorry about my issue because it's, you, uh, as you can see, when I turn on the camera, it suddenly starts like this, <laughs> look. So that is why I have it on, I have it off. And I hope that you understand. Ana Lopez, who's Ana Lopez? It's it's not very common to see those names, guys. <laughs> All right, let's start then. Uh, for regular verbs, we have three sounds, okay? Normally, the um, I'm going to... I'm going to start with the this one. There you go. 
the ed endings we have um voiced sounds all right voiced that means that it's when we pronounce the um the the, the letter for example r all right r we have b we have um well let's start in, in order b d those are voiced sounds that means that we know we normally make a vibration in, in our throat when we pronounce those letters b d e f g all right we buy we use a vibration we use our vocal cords all right g d e f g h i h j h j we have the j the k the l for example l m n n n uh -huh. r r g i will go where i have the z z Mm, okay, let's do it in order. L M N R S T U V V as well. Another V. W O. All right, listen. O. Um, borrowed. All right. S. And then W X Z. Very good. Those are voice sounds. Do you understand my my glyphos? <laughs> We're talking about voiced, okay? When we normally use our throat, all right? Let me turn on the camera just for a while. We use this part of our, of uh, when we're pronouncing these words, the ending or these letters are, uh, are vibration, all right? They have a vibration when we pronounce them. On the other hand, we have the no, the voice less. But we, we need still uh, this. Is, is in that group too? The S. Z, yes. Yeah. The S. Thank you. It depends. It depends because sometimes the S can be pronounced as Z or sometimes can be pronounced like Z, C, C, C. Okay. But okay. in some cases, all right, in some cases, the S could be if it in some cases, not all the time. Probably okay. it could be like this, the double, yeah, the, the S maybe in some cases. Now voiceless, the voiceless are the ones that we don't use our throat. We basically just do a whisper, a whisper, a whisper, like, like when we are uh, doing a whisper, right? A whistle, whistling, all right? Uh, in this case, we start with the letter C. So we don't use our throat. We just exhale air, okay? Okay, so our, our um, F? Our, yeah, our pronunciation is basically only with our mouth, okay? Exhaling air, not using our throat, okay? Is that clear, guys? So starting, we have the letter C, D, F, F, exactly. G H, the C H, the S H, G H, uh, um, B C D F G H I J K uh, the K, uh huh, the K R S T the S. In this case, the S, as I mentioned, very few cases we pronounce this uh, like a vo vibration. The S is silent or is voiceless most of the time. So S. It's S, right? S, yeah, S. But double S, like kiss. Yes, or S, okay? In so, depending on the sound, depending on the on the pronunciation, but most of the time the S or double S is, is voiceless. C-F-S-H, the C-A-M-C-H. Oh, if you know already, just give us the letter, Lorena. You, it seems like you are, you want to practice. You wanna say us, you wanna give us the rule. G G H Yeah, because we pronounce the GH as an F. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else? The, the X. Mm, isn't any other missing? 
No. What about the T? Ah, yeah. No, there is. Right. Mm -hmm. It's another, but remember, we're doing the pronunciation of the uh, regular verbs, okay? Let's continue. What is next? If the last uh, letter is T or T. Okay. The P as well. Okay. The X. All right. Most of the time, those are the, those are the, or the double S, right? Double S. Uh, those are voiceless. Voiceless. We don't use our throat to pronounce them. But if they finish with one of these letter or sounds, what happens? There is no vibration? It is vibration. If, they, if we are talking about voiced, it's because yeah, they it have is a vibration. Like they have okay. vibration, yeah. So what happens with the vibration verbs? Or letters? Finishing the D. Okay, let's let's see. For example, behave. V. Is that a voiced or voiceless? Behave. Behave it. Voice. It's voiced. All right, no voice oh. it. All right, voiced. Yeah. Okay, Voice. there there is what I want. Uh, you to check okay compare it's a voiced sound okay mm -hmm. oh the vowels as well like for example die all right uh another one disturb dress vibration i'm dress dressed sorry mm -hmm. this is this is not uh, this is not the one uh dry the Eliminate, ended, enjoyed. D, 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 the Y is also like a vowel sound. Enjoy. Follow. Identify. It's also a vowel, like a vowel sound. Imagine we have voiced or voiceless. Imagined. Hmm? Voice. Is voiced. The end sound is there is. Not exactly the the letter at the end, but the sound, remember, okay? There we have um, some verbs. These are voiced, okay? So what happened with these guys? How do you pronounce this, for example? Behave. Okay, in that case, we normally pronounce the letter D. We don't pronounce extra syllable, okay? So we have here behaved, the, the, all right? Here, compare, com uh, what is the past? <laughs> Hello, what is the past? Hello, Alberto, nice to see you. Good evening. Sorry. Good evening. Okay, guys. So, how, how do you say this? Guys, come on. I need compare. Compare. Disagree. We're saying that if the sounds are like the b, d, g, j, l, m, and we also use a d when we pronounce the ed ending. All right. So, how do you say this verb in past? Compared. compared. Exactly. Compared. We just add the D. We don't say compared, right? We say compared. compared. Duh, duh, duh. compared. Right? Pay attention with this for the ones who say uh, disturbed, for example. This is another verb. How do you pronounce this? Disturbed. Exactly. A D. Disturbed. Duh, duh. All right. Very good. Dressed. In this case, no, it doesn't apply. 
dried. All right? Dried. Mm -hmm. Enjoyed. D, d, all right. What about this one? How do you pronounce follow in past? Followed. Followed. Also, we add the ed, the d sound. Okay, followed. D, d. Followed. What about followed. freeze? Freeze. 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 Exactly. We pronounce the d sound in this case. Okay. Um, fry, fried. Uh, um identify identified identified imagine imagined imagined exactly imagined. very good those are voiced letters or voiced sounds we have for example name, name. we don't say name it how do we say it name named, named with the d as well name. okay I will leave the 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 D sound or voiced sounds in purple, okay? Uh, open. What is the past? Opened. Opened. We also Opened. add a D sound, all right? Here. Order. Ordered. 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 All right. Ordered. All right. It's it's a voiced sound, all right? Ordered. Organize. Organize. Organized. 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 Vibration. Organized. Now, uh, pass. Oh, pass. no, this, this is not the one, no. Uh, perform. Performed. Performed. Um. All right, very good. Uh, the other one, program or to program, okay? This is? Programmed. Programmed at the, Program. at the end. Review. Program. Review. Reviewed. Slow. Loved. Slowed. D, d, all right? Loved. Turn. Turn. I agree. Turn. Turned. Turned with the D, all right? Underline. Underlined. Underlined. Uh, da, da. No, underlined. We remember underlined. we're pronouncing a D, not a T. Underlined. underlined. Very good. We have enough with that. Um, uh, I, I remember the key point was like the ones ending with a vowel. It's like you just say, uh, for example, uh, play, it ends with a vowel sound, right? It's like play, just adding the D. And exactly. the ones ending with a consonant, you just say like a T, right? And mm, the ones, no. the ones ending on the with, uh -huh. the ones ending with E, D, it's like, like voiced was the voiced with T. The ones ending with ed, and the ones ending with consonant was like uh, wanted, I guess. Yes, ed, mm. and uh, the rest of them, which doesn't sound like the other ones, I consider them like irregular, and I had to learn them just one by one. But that's how I guide myself. But if uh, what I'm saying is that we have the consonant B, D, G, L, M, and they are consonants. So, and they have pronounced, uh, they are pronounced with a D sound. Okay. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have to do anything with the, uh, with the consonant. All right. It, it, it depends if the consonant is voiced or voiceless. Okay. That's what I said. Disturb. It's, this is a consonant and we just add the d as you say enjoy because the the y in this case sounds like a vowel so as you say play played all right the one finished uh with the y we say just a d sound like follow this is a consonant and we say followed okay 
identify, identified. Yeah, and they identified. Imagine the letter N is the sound. So we say imagined. Got it, guys? Not necessarily if it's vowel or consonant. It depends on the sound. It may be a consonant, but depending on the voiced sound, there we have a D sound at the end. All right. Now, for the second group, let me change something here. We will leave it with the red one. Now, the um, voiceless sounds, that means that we just whisper the sound. So in this case, we have the first one that is bake, all right? Bake, is that voiceless, right? Yes? So if this is the case, we pronounce the letter In this case, we pronounce the letter T, okay? How do you pronounce bake in past? Baked. Very good. We baked. just add a T sound, all right. Close, the letter S. Closed. 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 Closed, Closed. okay? Closed. Mm. But what about dress? Dressed. Dressed. Pronunciation? Dressed. dressed. All right? No yeah. dresses, but just dressed. Um, yeah. Fix. Fix. An, an. Uh -huh. uh, Letter T. Fixed. Fix. Fixed. Guess. Fix. Guest. 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 All right. Uh, um, the other one, knock or jump. Jump. Jumped. Jumped. The ED Jumped. is a, it's a T. Knock. T. Aha. Uh -huh. How do you say it? Knock. No. Knocked. Knocked. Mark. 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 All right. Match. 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 Matched. Matched. Okay. Another uh, pack. 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 Uh, pass. Past. 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 Okay, it's like a T sound here. Um, shop. 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 T sound. Shop. Very good. Uh, ants, etc., etc., etc. If they have these sounds, we pronounce a T. Now, what happened with the rest of the verbs? They do not finish with the. Uh, Vale, vale. Perdón, lo siento. It's okay. Now, guys, for the rest of the verbs that have already a pronunciation of a D or T, in those cases, we always add an extra syllable. Okay? Example, compete. Extra syllable will be competed. In this case, we always pronounce the Teed, all right, the extra syllable. Got it? Competed. Mm -hmm. Competed. Eliminate. Eliminated. Eliminated. Very good. Yes. Pronunciation. Yes. Okay. It already finished with the T. What about if they finish with the D? The same thing. And. And what is the past? Ended. Ended. All right. Extra syllable. Ended. Now, what about greet? Greet. 
Read. No. Read it. Read it. Right? We pronounce extra syllable there. If they finish already with the D sound or the T sound, we pronounce extra syllable. Okay? Hunt. Hunt. Pronunciation, Hunted. guys. Hunted. 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 Very good. Hunt. Invite. 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 How do you say it? Invite it. Invite it. Ed. Ed. The ed is is actually pronounced. Uh, the second one. Now, the in the on the other column we have need. For example, what is the rule for need? It finishes needed. with a D. Needed. Very good. Extra syllable needed. as well. Needed. The other one. Paint. 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 No? Painted. All right. ED Painted. sound pronounced. Painted. Painted. Persuade. Persuaded. 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 All right. Thank you. Protect. Protected. 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 All right. Uh, one. Wanted. 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 Or wanted. All right. So if they finish with the D sound or the T sound, we always add the extra syllable. Got it, guys? Yes. That's it. Now, what happened? For example, when we are doing the spelling, when we're writing, why do we add, for example, in this case, I saw one of them. When do we double the, the the last consonant of the verb, guys? For example, here, shop. Shop. Why do when we add the double the double p in past? Because it is it has. Uh, why? Because it's vowel by consonant. They will, very good. We have we have. A consonant, it's a C, V, C sound. That means that we have a consonant before, and then we have a vowel, and then we have the C, uh, the consonant again. That is why we always double it, okay? This happens especially with the one syllable verbs, okay? What about, uh, let me see, there is another one. Open. Why don't we add the double N here if, if opened? Any idea? Because we have there, consonant, there vowel, an, consonant. Uh, because the rule is C, B, C. But we have the C, the vowel, and the C, and B, E, the, N. And I think because the verb start with vowel. Mm. Mm. Let me give you another verb. Um, Remember, if it's just one syllable, it's always pronounced. For one syllable, we always add the double, uh, we have the double consonant. Um, travel, what about travel? And this doesn't start with the, with the consonant.
What do you think? Because there are two syllables. Trouble. Trouble. And with open, we have just one. And with shop, sorry. Mm. Give me a moment. I would like to find some other examples. Mm -hmm. In program, just double them. Begin, for example, begin. This is the example that I wanted to, to remember. Begin. Oh, sorry, but that is for, that is irregular verb. Any other verb, guys, that you, that you can remember that has double, uh, double, double consonant? Program. Stop. Yeah, for one syllable verb, we always have, we always add the extra, we, um, the extra consonant. A good program. Program. Oh, for example, program. No, but program. This is program. All right. Remember, guys, yeah. what is the difference between between program and program? program. The pronunciation of the at the end one is the noun and the other the action no yeah. one is the noun and the other is the verb correct um okay there we have it some other examples admit admit permit where is permit? We didn't have the permit here. Admit, admitted. We always add the, the double consonant. Cancel. Mm, that doesn't apply either. Okay, the difference is this, guys. Depends on the pronunciation. For example, admit, we have two syllables. Ad, met, right? What is the stress? Remember when we were talking about stress? Admit. Exactly, it is in the second syllable, right? And what about open? Where is the, the stress in open and travel? No. It's in, in the first syllable, all right? So if the last syllable is stressed, we always have the extra syllable with the extra consonant. If the stress is at the beginning, it is not necessary. Now we understand why we add the double T or the double consonant depending on the ending? Yes. Okay. Example, let me see. This also applies for the ING, okay? Um, commit. 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 What is the past? What is the past, guys? Commit? Committed. Why? The second syllable is stress or the last syllable is stress. Got it? 
If it's at the beginning, we don't double the consonant. If it's at the end, we always add an extra, an extra consonant. Example, label. Label. Let me get another. Kidnap. Kidnap is the noun. To kidnap is the verb. Um, I don't remember. Oh, refer, for example. There is another one. Refer. Re. Fair. What is the second? What is the stress? Re or fair? Fair. Fair. In fair. So we add the, the letter R again. Okay. If the sound or the stress sound is at the end, we always add the extra syllable. All right. So let's continue with the other. Uh, one moment. Let's continue with the uh, with this with these verbs. Okay. So divide. What is the past tense? Divided. B divided it ends with a d sound that is why we add the extra syllable all right the filming details need to uh-huh we answered this yesterday but i want you be, to tell me this time be written proud very good be written out. Number three, an outline of the script has to be prepared. Remember, when we're doing the voice or the, uh, sorry, the passive voice, we have to add the letter, uh, the, the verb to be. To be so, prepared. Be prepared. Very good. Prepare da 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 da. Remember this the these sound. Next next actors are chosen. Thank you. Are chosen. Locations are picked. Are picked. Six customs Ana, do you wanna say something? Ana Lopez. We didn't hear you. I we, I just heard your whisper. You wanna answer this number six? Mm -hmm. What is the answer, guys? Are designed. No, Anna. We don't pronounce the ed in this case because the verb finishes with an n in a voiced sound. So we don't say designed. How do you say it, guys? That is why I mentioned, guys. Pay attention on the pronunciation. All right. How do you say it? Designed. Designed, all right? Customs are designed. Number seven. Are, are. Number six, you, you add an extra eight. Thank you. Okay. Help me with number seven, Anna. Spend. Expanded. Are expanded. Exactly. Why do we say expanded and not, and here we didn't say designed? Can you explain to me that? 
Why we say expanded, but we say designed, not designed? Mm -hmm. Anyone? Because I finished with the D. Exactly. We already explained that if the the verb finishes with the letter D or letter T, we always repeat or add the extra syllable. Okay, thank you. Uh, number eight. The, the verb is, is number seven. Singular. After the script. It's completed. And the verb is is completed. We pronounce the extra here. The director or a director is hired. Very good. It's hired. Hired. All right. Number 10. Hello, guys. Are you there, the rest? It's great. Created. Create? No, created. Thank you. The final film you see on the screen is created. Is created. Remember, we added the letter of the verb to be. Number 11. Help me, Kevin. <laughs> Read number 11 and give me the answer. It's composed. Uh -uh. It's composed. Mm, pronounce the, the, the past. You say compose. Okay. It's composed. Uh -uh. Pronounce the D sound at the end. Read the 11. Read it. Lea los completos, por favor, guys. Tom Abster, the film has been edited. Music. No, edit. Acabamos de decir cuando decimos esa, esa ed. Eh, edited. Ok. Edited music. Edited, all right. It's edited. Eh, the edit. edit. Vaya, aquí está al inicio la letra E, por eso, eh, perdón, D y T, pero al inicio es el stress, por eso no lo cambiamos, ¿verdad? No le ponemos una extra syllable. Is edited. Uh, it's edited, it's edit, sorry, it's edit. Entonces aquí solo agregamos la ed, and we pronounce the ed, edit, ed, edited, all right, edited. Number 12. Yeah, but, but least, but that is wrong. Because the verb is compose. Compose. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, it's just to remind you guys the ed sound. Okay, sorry. So music is composed, all right? Can, can you read it one more time for me, Kevin? Is composed. Complete sentence. Help me read it, please, Edgardo. The complete sentence. Soon after the film has been edited, music composed and sound effects are Add. Music is composed. Music is composed and sound effects are added. Composed. All right, composed and sounds are added. Muy bien, thank you. Letter uh, number 12, Angela, read for me, please, and give me the answer. Okay. It, it is 
after. Uh, after the Guys, no sean tan araganes, lean, por favor. Uh, okay, para que tenga más sentido, por favor. Yo les okay. digo en inglés, quieren que hablemos solo inglés, pero no me entienden. Okay? Tengo que uh, hablarles en español. Come on, guys. We're not after, basic anymore. After the film uh, is finished, finished, the different show can then be put together. together. All right. It's finished. 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 Yes, yes. ¿Qué sonido va al final entonces aquí? What is the sound? Um, yes, Lisette. Así es. Muy bien. It's a T sound, ¿verdad? Very good. Uh, let me see if we didn't make any mistake. Where is the mistake? Verb. The verb, right? What is the correct then? It's. Is because it's about outline that is singular. Okay, there you go. You want to take a screenshot, or you think that you are you already know the answers, guys? You just need to know the verb in past participle. No, no questions. You want to take a screenshot? Yes, thank you. Take a screenshot, please. Let me do it a little bit smaller. We have the first six. The screenshot and from seven to 12, these are the answers. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay. Can you read for me, Lisette, these uh, instructions, please? Okay. Instruction. Instructions. 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 Go over the information, then listen to the quiz. Show. Can you guess the occupation? The occupations. Can you guess the occupations? Uh huh. Write your answer. One more time. No, it's white. Right. 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 All right. Remember the sound of W is silent all the time. Right. Right, short and words. Not chore. Chore is como la orilla short. de la playa. Short. Short answers. Short and words. Short answers. Short answers. Just the name, name of the occupation. Occupation. Okay. Well, we will finish this exercise this coming Monday, okay, guys? I hope that you have a very nice weekend. Thank you very much for being connected. Let me see if I have to, if Bye. I can say goodbye, guys, before my camera starts uh, failing, all right? And see you on Monday. Watch the videos, please. So we have, I, there you go. So we have the... Uh, we have the correct answers on Monday together. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.